what can you say? That's just magnificent. I know the, I know the lift was short 12, from the day. 14. Good tight net shot from the Indonesian. But look at this. Look how calm he is. Beautiful deception. Interesting, Tafik trying to increase the pace a little bit, force Peter away from the net. 15, Just missing a bit 12. of touch at the end of the long rally there. It's quite remarkable that Peter Gator still so fit, so agile, so fast round the court at the age of 33, but he's never really had too many injury problems, of course, that'll be the kiss of death, but I do remember him having knee surgery back in 2002. So, over, 13, 15. From a very early age, Peter's always been so professional. He was, I remember him as a 15, 16 year old with the maturity of a 20 year old. He was always very clear on what he wanted to do, what he wanted to achieve, and he's always looking for an edge. He's always willing to talk to different people, look for different ideas that he can apply. He's been a, a tremendous professional and a, a great example for, for our sport, a great ambassador for badminton. 14, 15. Yeah, cool, just please. inside the back line, in fact. Peter. Both players being allowed by the umpire just to go to the side and tell now while the court is mopped of the perspiration. And it's interesting what you're saying, both, I mean, of course, great ambassadors to the sport, but also both of them enjoying success early on. Both of them became number one player in the world by the age of 20. You know, and, and, and I look at players now and the development and talking about up-and-coming players in the UK and so on and saying, well, we've got some youngsters. The remarkable thing about the great players is the success they achieve so early on at such a young age. I mean, we've got some very good uh, men's singles players in England yet to break through into the real top of world badminton. But in comparison to 20-year-olds becoming world number one, I don't know what it is, whether it's sheer belief. You talked about the preparation, knowing what they wanted to do. I think there's also a cultural 16, element, though, because 15. these two players, have, you know, they're following on uh, previous decades where their own countries have had great players who've won everything. Um, Very good point. And, you know, Peter, you've just named a lot of Danish players as well. It's quite easy with Hartono and Luis Pongo and Hendra Wan. I mean, Taffy, Arby, fantastic players. And, you know, both of them would have grown up looking at players from their own, their own environments winning these major championships. And that makes a big difference. Over. Mm. 16 all. 
all the Indonesian really had to do was get that over and in because having played the cross-court drop shot when he was off balance, Peter Gaeta would have struggled to get to the net in time. I think both of them just feel they know each other so well that even when they've got a bit of time, they're thinking, no, I've got to play with a low margin. I need to, I need to hit the tape to win this rally. That's the level of this match. It's a fantastic match. Uh, the rallies are of great quality. Oh, nice smash. 17, 16. The net shot return of serve was just brilliant. That's over. 17 all. I still feel that's where this match is going to be won and lost. The player that can get in, win control of the net, is, is going to have the first chance on the on the attack, and that's going to be key in this match. And we're going to see a few mistakes 18, around the net because 17. the margins are very, very small. They both feel as though they've got to play so tight because they know their opponents are so strong there. Jump smash to gain extra angle. to go for it. 19, 18. Yes, that's his character. He has to go for that. It's um, He played a super rally and the chance comes up. If he plays net there, Peter lifts out and he has to start again from the rear court. That was, a, that was an opportunity. It was difficult, but it was an opportunity he had to go for. like a doubles exchange, flat fast exchanges, neither player willing to give away the lift Seven because they know their opponents 19. are so good in attacking play. And both of them are so experienced in these situations at the end, 19 all, 19 all, they've been there so many times. The tempo's gone up, the last two rallies, the tempo's going up, both of them are looking for weaknesses, it's, this is a really interesting match. if he hadn't gone for the kill of that net shot because the shuttle here tumbling he wouldn't have been able to lift it anyway and there a little clench fist from Peter Gator because now he's on game point so accurate under pressure. He's moved back at pace, he's played the net shot. Great pace and agility to get behind the shuttle and fantastic precision. That's a great play. 